get the question, the written question from this. And I messed up everything. Yay! Uh, okay. No, okay. okay better. Good morning, everyone. Early interview today for us. Sorry for our American friends, but we have Hanno Wolser from Team Germany and our Master of Design. Very excited. Hello. Thanks for having me. Of course, it's a pleasure. So, introduce yourself a little bit. I mean, for those that yeah. don't know you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, my name is uh, Han Rinser. I'm uh, from Germany, team captain of Germany um, this year again. And yeah, many might know me for my affiliation with Rathian or also um, Pareldex. Had um, some success in the last year. So, some. Some, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I had a good, good year last year with uh, winning two national titles. Yeah. So what and did won, you... Yeah, and, and to, to start with talking about the World Cup, we won the World Cup as well. Yeah, so <laughs> then what are the expectations for this year? Of course, we want to defend our title. Uh, um, that's what we, our expectation. Yeah, we have assembled a good pretty good team again i'm quite optimistic we have, we have a shot at least there's I mean, some other good teams but i heard that us is very very motivated uh, this time around but we'll see yeah we also have some some new te members on the team so they haven't won the title yet so they're ex yeah uh so how was there a different approach this year to the players uh, how did you draft yes. them yes um, last year um, it was just uh, Lennart and me picking uh, players from Germany, but this time we we did a qualifier tournament, yep. so everybody from from Germany could um, register um, for an online tournament. And we did in March, early April, and um, you could register more than once, once for e uh, for each faction. So you could actually register eight times and. The best in each faction um, got a spot on the team, and yeah, the second best in or the best second best um, qualified as for the mystery. Uh, if you chose that faction, I assume. Yes. Uh, um, it, interesting to see the list without Yanis in it, and we see that his deck is played. So. <laughs> uh, not not exactly, but yeah, Mattel actually there were three players. Who only went three three? Um, David, Lennart as well, and 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 Janis. So, yeah, we were generous this time and uh, only have one Mattel player, not two like last time, to annoy uh, people. But yeah, without Lennart and without Janis this time. But um, David is is doing a good job. Yeah. Um, okay, he, so what's the impression on the ban and restricted list in your team? Do you like it? Um, I know you I, you helped with it. I I like it. I like it a lot. I was definitely a big improvement over the old list. Um, yeah, I I talked with Anil a bit and about further improvements and maybe we will probably see them for the cut. Uh, I mean, I know one of them already, so we'll see how we'll deal with that. But when it comes, it comes. Exactly, but um, I I like that he that he used uh, bands for of shadows and sea of blood. So these were like meta-defining agendas, and everybody had to to adjust their decks 
for these um, for shadows and for sea of blood and this was yeah difficult and limited the the options so much and now with these two agendas gone you can build totally different decks so that's true, true. it's really f refreshing to play uh, without these two i mean yeah i would say that targaryen moved in a little bit in the other annoying direction but yeah they are attachment decks uh... Uh, I I'm not. I was talking about the burn. I was expecting a little bit more burn, but uh, burn or attachment void from decks. Targaryen yeah. is still the best, I think. That's why we uh, chose two Targaryen decks. Yeah, unite as Targaryen. So uh, it's the most popular choice. Yeah, it's the most popular choice. There are seven teams with. And then Martel is the second most popular, which I found very interesting. I was expecting Stark or Greyjoy to go to rush decks or to heavy aggro decks, something along those lines. But hey, yeah, people we like Martel. Or Stark. Yeah, I mean, we we won last year with Martel as Mister Knight, so but it was more down to having Yannis and Leonard on the team, not, not because of Martel. Yeah. Uh, so, how did you choose this time the faction combination? Did you feel like there is an agenda that you have to play regardless where it is? Um, also, the restriction, was, how it affected it? We, yeah, actually, actually it was, uh, I thought it was, it was a yeah, cool idea to only have one uh, agenda per team. Um, but um, actually, it made the deck uh, choices a little bit more difficult and um yeah some players wanted to play the same agenda and it was it was a bit more tricky this time but i i liked it because this restriction makes a lot of sense there are enough agendas to choose from so it's, um for a bit bigger variety and um but in the end we needed to to negotiate a bit some players to let go of their perf uh, favorite choices. Yeah, we but happened it, with us as well. We had to, at the first draft, we had four Knight of the Cold Hill decks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had, I mean, many players wanted or wanted to play the, the, um, the deck they played in the qualifier tournament, but there were some overlaps. It's not normal. Negotiate. The best agendas are great in every faction, so... Yeah, like Crossing or Wars. Material Wars was very popular, but Tyrell Wars um, won our Tyrells. So, yeah. yeah, it's Dark and Lenny Crossing. So, yeah, that was some. Uh, then, what was the influence this time around for the Mystery Knight? Um, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, it was like the best, uh, the best second best player who qualified was is a Targaryen burn player, and um, since pretty pretty easy to divide Targaryen into burn and attachment decks, so they they can play to, two totally different agendas. So I think Targaryen is the best choice. Yeah. For, for me tonight, yeah. And, as you said, this was the most popular choice, so probably the correct one. I hope it is correct one. We are also on double Targaryen, so. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Uh, and then before going to the uh, deck overviews, did you had any strategy in assigning the order, or completely random and take? The... I ask people for the favorite number. Uh, okay. Just no patterns like. One, two, three. We didn't want to avoid any, yeah, nine mirror matches, but it's all, all. Yeah, I mean, I tried that, and my player said we don't care about any of those first nine numbers, so we can... then did some random stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now let's jump into the decks. First is Baratheon, and for Baratheon we have Conclave. You. A popular, yeah, popular choice conclave around this time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, mm, 
I could ob obviously have played um, Barra Koho. Koho is still free, but I played the deck a lot. Um, I really like the Barra Conclave deck. Yeah, it's with the uh, big robot for uh, control. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not a big control player. I play Rush most of the time, but like reflect once in a while to play a different play style. And, um, and I think the, the Conclave deck has answers to a lot of other decks. Um, it's so very fun. I, I went to... As someone who is also playing Conclave, it's great fun. Just like most, yeah. But Conclave or Koho. That's like my Barra deck right now. Yeah, we are... We, we may have stolen your idea for Koho. Yeah. <laughs> or having some influence in it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, Greyjoy Fealty? Why Fealty not uh, Prince that was promised, which is probably the most? That was a big discussion <laughs> in our team. But um, yeah, our greater player, who was also a great player last year, um, he, had, he had played a lot of Prince and he wanted to um, focus a bit more on Big Wick. Yeah, that's why in the end he decided to go for field team, just to have more more options of to have yeah. carrying with Venom, which you can't do with Prince. Yes, I mean a little bit more. Uh, so it's a bit with carrying focus then, but they are very similar. Just I mean the the character base looks exactly the same if you ask me. Yeah. In like ninety percent of the decks that I've seen, uh, but he, he he likes his Victorian with Reno, so. Oh, Victorian is amazing. I mean, limits. <laughs> I I will keep that in mind. Limits. <laughs> uh, one year rains, no shadows this time around. So. Yeah, our um, Lannister player doesn't uh, like shadows. Or, um, last uh, year he played um, Crossing successfully, yeah. and um, yeah, he's a very, very good Lannister player, but he doesn't play any Shadows, so... I mean, Crossing's still Crossing. solid, it's second it choice, but... But it went, we gave it to our Stark player, so um, he shows um, Danny Reigns. Okay. Reigns is... First two games, Lenny uh, great. Also, something that last year was everywhere exposed to publicity, now it's never nowhere to be seen in the yeah, scheme Shadows. in the scheme decks. Yeah, with King of Shadows uh, banned, we probably don't don't need it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are other options like banner decks, Tyrell Lion, stuff like that. But I think you don't have to be afraid of. Uh, you don't have to take like. Where last year there were two, at least two decks with uh, the Shadows agenda and now they're like maybe one and one banner at, at most. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's a refreshing to oh. play against Shadow all the time. Yeah, and then when you get that one Shadow matchup and you're like... <sighs> uh, yeah. Next is Martell deck. I think we've seen this deck before. Not quite. It's uh, with Banner Wolf, not Banner Kraken. Yannis uh, uh, plays it with Banner Kraken. Oh, so right. Uh, Mattel deck Wolf, but yeah, Yannis uh, deck is Mattel deck Kraken. Okay, um, so. So it's a bit more uh, Frozen Solid and to kill Arya for better Valamogulis. No Force March everywhere, so makes her stronger. Yeah, I think... Um, oh, and Carhold. Carhold is a pretty good store card. I mean, it's a melee card, but for uh, the, the thing that this wants to achieve... It's is perfect. It? Yeah, it's perfect. And with Desert Raider. Mean intact. Yes. Uh, next... Should be the Mystery Knight. So, the choice for the Mystery Knight was Targaryen Assault from the Shadows. Yeah, there we, he played um, Targaryen Reign as his burn deck, but actually with uh, with Marine, myself from the Shadows is pretty good agenda. Mm -hmm. And 
the burn is his favorite play style. So he actually has a lot of um, options. I mean, PLT that went to other decks, but um, they sold or wars. Mm -hmm. We yeah. used all the other agendas, but Burn can play whatever. The yeah, they don't. Uh, they don't care that much. Just a solid draw. And I think also from the shadows. Is... Oh yeah, it's a. I'm I not sure this how close this is to our list. Uh, but yeah, very solid. Uh, I. In my opinion, it's one of the strongest Targaryen agendas at the moment, aside from Sea of Wood that is banned and probably will be banned for the future, so we'll see. Uh, next, Night's Watch King. Oh, I don't remember which, how many interviews I did with. Uh, and we have Night's Watch Kings of Summer as a choice. Yeah. I mean, I mean you gave. Valyrian Steel to the Targaryen player, so it was basically a builder stack. And builders can play maybe House of the Red Door as well. Or Wars, but Wars. You haven't seen it with the House with the Red Door. But, yeah, but I think he, he played, or it's a new team member, by the way. Um, he, um, he played quite some builders in the last. Yeah, the, the deck didn't get any worse. Oh, it, it got stronger with the restriction yeah. of uh, both agendas. I mean, banning from both agendas, it got way stronger. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, Kings of Summer, nobody wanted to play Kings of Summer, so perfect. <laughs> Imagine that no one wanted to play Kings of Summer. Uh, yeah, so, good old builders. I, I blame Wama. All on Wama. For this nightmare. So star star crossing. Everyone's playing star crossing. Is there something uh, different that, uh, here? Not sure what the, the others are playing. Take a look at the deck. Uh, it, we have two times at the past of Soros. I think is the thing that no one expects in crossing. Yeah, two palace of Soros. Um, I think because the deck is very vulnerable to um, to burn. Into Blood of the Dragon. Mm -hmm. And Soros. You just um, rush too fast against Burn, they can't do anything. Yeah, and Vyman and, and Mira, of course. We okay, have Vyman and Mira. <laughs> yeah. I, yesterday I played my deck against Dark Rain, and I think in the last round he could have triggered Mira. Three or four times. Yeah, uh, if those decks are made to work with uh, Mira, it's just good old Mira. Good old Mira have fond flashbacks. Now we just need yeah. Northern Cavalry Funk, and I will be happy camper. But in Night's Watch, not in Star Wars. Yeah, Royalist and stuff. Uh, next. Is the actual Targaryen deck, Valyrian Steel, which I think, which I would say is the the best deck. Oh, with this restricted list, Targaryen Steel is. Uh, so, what makes it the best then? It can um, rebuild so so easily after after reset or after something goes wrong. It doesn't need to see like specific. Pieces you can just build your tower with everyone. I mean, they are they are already a prince who came too late or other or, or gifts for the widow who make this very consistent. You have the, each attachment four times. Yeah. Um, so it's, the seventy-five cards don't matter if you have too late and for the widows, and you can basically build your renowned tower every. Um, so, uh, the main uh, towers are Khal Drogo and Dani? Yeah. Because I don't see uh, Sir Bariston, for example, or some of the... No, it was... Um, yeah, Daenerys the... most of the time. Most She's of the, the time. The, the main target for who came too late. I mean, it's not really tempered if you get... Um... Dani with bodyguard on turn one. And you can, can even... 
if you had the bodyguard in hand, you couldn't really even see it or you couldn't search for it. So, mm -hmm. easy to yeah, A very, very system deck. Uh, I experienced it, Stalek, how can you come back from nothing? So, yeah. So, you. Uh, now, last but not least, Roses, one of your favorite faction. Wars to come. Yeah. Terror Wars to come. It's not the, the obvious choice, but um, it's like basically big guys, big deck. With the or double heads, looks like a rush ahead. Yeah, it does the rush element, so it's not political disaster for control. Um, reset, just wards of itself to win challenges, so it's it's very, very flexible. Um, and yeah, lots of renowned guys. Yeah. Uh, is it playing Queen Marjorie? Yeah, the, the big match, Tinder March. Yeah, Tinder Marjorie, so. Yeah, a very. Another uh, str so you went uh, full head uh, tier one as much as possible. I mean the title won't but defend itself. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's about the decks. Yeah. Uh, any last words to address the community from your high position? Everyone. <laughs> no, thanks to you for for doing this uh, for covering um, lots of games the World Cup and for doing these um, team captain interviews. I think it's a, it's a great idea to get people or keep people entertained. And so thanks for your work. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I, thank you. So that will be for uh, today, guys, uh, for this morning. Uh, tonight, uh, we'll see how many uh, Games we're gonna cover, interviews for tomorrow, I have like three or four scheduled and Sunday I'm, uh, I'm in talks with Jess from Team USA to do the to see Team USA's perspective as well for this time around. So yeah, seeing you around. Thank you everyone for joining me. Have a nice day ahead of all of you. Bye bye. Bye.